What's good everyone? Welcome to the Posted 3000 YouTube channel. I am the Postman. For today's movie review, it's from the movie A Bronx Tale. Came out in 1993, directed by Robert De Niro, also starring Robert De Niro, as well as Chas Pilmentary. This is actually a film version of a play that Chas Pilmentary performs live. When he does perform, he does it by himself too. He tells the whole story, he does all the characters. This is one of my favorite scenes. It's when Robert De Niro goes by Lorenzo. He finds his son's Cologelo, or they call him C in the movie. He finds his son's wad of cash. He asks him, where, where'd you get this? He lets him know where he got it from. So Lorenzo goes over to Sonny and he confronts him about it. He pretty much says, we can't accept this, you know. Well, you'll see the scene right now. But yeah, uh, the reason he confronts him is because he finds all that money. All right, here we go. <laughs> We can't accept that. I didn't give it to you. I gave it to your son. He worked for you. That's right, my son. And I don't want my son involved in what goes on here. Involved in what? What are you talking about? Please, I'm not a stupid man, okay? Please, I'm not stupid. You this part, I like how uh, Lorenzo, he's just had it. You know, he's not hes not listening to Sonny. He's not going to fall for, for whatever Sonny's going to, like, try to say or try to convince him of. You know what I'm talking about. Just stay away from my son, okay? Hey! You stay right over here. See, why don't you go outside? I want to talk to your father. I'll speak to my own son. Coach, will wait outside. That's funny right there. That part where Sonny tells him, go wait outside. And then Lorenzo's like, I'll speak to my own son. Go wait outside. I, I don't know if it was supposed to be funny, but I found it funny. First of all, I respect you, Lorenzo. You're a stand-up guy. We're from the same neighborhood. They're from the same neighborhood. One of them became a mob boss, has a nice car, has good clothes, nice shoes, you know, pretty much makes a lot of money. The other one wears a uniform, has to drive a bus, doesn't even own a car, and pretty much lives paycheck to paycheck. One of them is financially stable, doing the wrong things in life, and the other one is struggling, doing the right things in life. But don't ever talk to me like that again. I tell your son to go to school, to go to college. You don't understand. It's not what you say. It's what he sees. It's the clothes. It's the cars. It's the money. It's everything. This is true. You know, what Lorenzo is saying makes a lot of sense because, you know, it's not, it, it really isn't what you say to, especially to a kid. It's, it's what they see visually because you can tell a kid all day, every day something. It just doesn't register. It doesn't get... It's, it, it doesn't click with them, but sometimes they see something visually, you know, it's, it's almost like it engraves into their brains, you know, like why do you think a lot of people get traumatized over like seeing something, you know, sometimes it fades out, but that could last years, that could last forever, it could probably, you know, never go away. He tried to throw away his baseball cards the other day because he said Mickey Mantle will never pay my rent. <laughs> he said that to you? <laughs> you know what? One of the things I like about Mafia movies is uh, a lot of the jokes that they have. He tried to throw away his baseball cards the other day because he said Mickey Mantle will never pay my rent. <laughs> Mickey Mantle will never pay my rent. That's hilarious. Oh my god. I can I can imagine the kid saying that. You know, I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad it wasn't in the movie. I'm glad he, you know he just says that's what he said. That's so funny. I can imagine him just Mickey Mantle will never pay my rent. Said that to you? <laughs> That's not funny. Not funny when your nine-year-old kid has a bigger bank account than you do. I offered you a job, but you said no to me. That's right, and I say no now. Just leave my son alone, please. So Sonny offers the dad a job um, where he can make a lot of money. And something as simple as, you know, he already drives a bus. So the job was on his bus route. All he had to do was drop off a piece of paper at certain bus stops. The job he offered him is actually running numbers, which on his bus route would have been like really easy money. Just leave my son alone, please. Hey, don't you see how I treat that kid? I treat that kid like he's my son. He ain't your son. He's my son. He's what? He's my son. Hey, get the fuck out of here. I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. I know you are. That right there, man. <laughs> the way he gets offended, he's like, he's what? He's what? He's my son. Hey, get the fuck out of here. I'm not Fuck it. Oh, man. That is... I like the way he says that, bro. Like, you... It's... It's so intense. Don't you see how I treat that kid? I treat that kid like he's my son. He ain't your son. He's my son. 
this this is pretty much what the movie's about. Colojolo sees Sonny as a father figure. And the way other people have put it in the past, like other reviews that I've seen, like he sees Sonny and his own dad as a father figure, and he's kind of like struggling between the two. I've never seen it that way. I've never seen where he struggles between both of them. I've always just seen that he just always likes Sonny better. But, you know, this is pretty much what the movie's about. It's just that Colangelo sees Sonny as a father figure more than his own dad. That's how I see it. I don't see it as he's torn between the two or anything. He's what? He's my son. Hey, get the fuck out of here. I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. I know who you are, Sonny. I know what you're capable of, and I would never step out of line. You could ask anybody in this neighborhood who knows me, but this time you're wrong. You don't fool with a man's family. This is... Look, right here where he's... Get the fuck out of Oh, man, look at that. Fuck out of here. I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. I know who you are, Sonny. Well, you should be. When he says, well, you should be, like... Generally, even though technically Sonny's a bad guy... You know, he's a gangster. Come on. He's very likable. But at the end of the day, he's in the mafia. At the end of the day, he's a gangster. You know, he has that side to him. He kills people. He hurts people. He does all that stuff. You know, at the end of the day, you can't forget who he really is. So when he says you should be like, that's a real threat. And Robert De Niro, he knows not to disrespect them, you know, but. Like he's saying right here, you know, he's saying, no, you're wrong this time, which is true. I, I agree. I see what he's trying to say. Like he has, his points make sense. You know, he just doesn't know the way Sonny really treats his kid. You know, like, like Sonny said, he treats that kid like he's his own son. Sonny, I know what you're capable of and I would never step out of line. You could ask anybody in this neighborhood who knows me, but this time you're wrong. You don't fool with a man's family. This is my son, not yours. What are you going to do, fight you me? You stay away from my get son. Get out of here before I give you a fucking get slap. You just get stay away from my son. Go ahead. I don't care who you are. You stay away from my son. Bro, that, oh man, that scene, it's, it gets so intense. That scene is so good. Like, you can feel the tension between the two. Lorenzo, man, like, even, he knows what son is capable of. He knows. He knows what he can do. He knows he Sonny can make him disappear, like nothing, and no one will know what happened. The cops won't know what happened. The neighbor, the person who saw them, won't know what happened. That line where he's like, "You stay away from my like this time. You're wrong. You don't mess." That line, "You don't mess with a man's family." This time you're wrong. Something about it. I. I try to explain it. It's really hard to explain, but it's just, it's the acting, it's this dialogue, it's this, like, it looks real. Like, when I watch this movie, I've seen this movie so many times, but, and, um, when I watch this movie, I don't see it as Robert De Niro acting. I don't see it as Chaz Pimentary acting. It, like, this looks like it's real. I'm so zoned into the movie, I forget they're just acting. I forget they're just actors, but you know that's that's just how just, that's just how good it is. You stay away from my get son. Get out of here before I give you a fucking get slap. You just stay you away from my son. Go ahead. Get I don't care who you are. You stay get away from my son. If you haven't seen this movie, you gotta watch it. This one isn't as popular as Good. I feel like Goodfellas is like a lot of people know it, even if they haven't seen it. I feel like people know of it at least. And this one, I don't. I don't remember. When I first saw this movie, pff, an estimated guess would be probably like 15 years ago. It was actually playing on TV. I think I missed like the first 10 minutes of the movie. But then the rest of the movie was really good. And then a few months later, I found the movie. I watched it from the beginning and really, really good. One more thing I'm a big fan of is how usually in movies like this, Robert De Niro will play someone who's in the mafia also. But in this movie, he's the opposite. He plays the dad. He plays the one who isn't that, you know? He's just a bus driver. And he kills that role. Such an amazing actor. So whatever role he has, he's gonna kill it. It's gonna be really good. This is one of those movies that's easy to watch. It's not super complicated. It's not, it's not one of those movies where you're kinda trying to figure things out. This movie is just pretty much straightforward. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow me on Instagram at posted3000, and if you're into movies, you can also follow my other handle, which is Posted Movies.
There I just post screenshots of some of my favorite movies. Thanks for watching. Peace out and stay posted.